everybody, how is it going? Moving on in the series of let's give some aspects love, we are covering rage, right? So let's kick it off. The Fire God Temple I'm putting here as a representation of the entire target emblem mechanic. The card is bad because the whole mechanic currently is really weak, so there's no reason to run it. If we get better support for the whole target emblem stuff, this might be better. Until then, it's not going to see play. But I don't think you need to buff it. You need to buff the whole mechanic for this to be good. Mr. Burke. Uh, we've all been uh, th talking about it more and more as the hero that just doesn't see any play. I don't think I need to really mention it that much because I do believe it'll, it will be improved in the upcoming balance patch since... The devs did say they want to focus a little bit on the heroes, and Burke is certainly a hero that needs some help. The main problem is we now have a lot more 3 health creatures, so Burke kills a lot less stuff. And the fact that he takes damage back means it's not good against aggro because you'll just take damage, and eventually your hero power becomes totally unusable, so yeah. I'm sure the devs will come up, come up with something appropriate, though. Burning Rage. Oh, man. The card that we all wanted nerfed because it made rage spells ridiculous and it gave you access to a whole bunch of ramp and card draw. Well, unfortunately, now the card is really bad because it just sometimes casts a spell without the cost but does damage to you, but you have no choice but to cast it. So if you if you flip a fire blast and you're the only one with creatures, you're going to be really sad. I think maybe we could go back to the old burning rage, but just nerf it a little bit. So that Rage does have a way to play like this. Like, like Mono Rage has a powerful card to rely on. You know, Burning Rage. To power up all of their plays. Just maybe tone down the card draw a little bit. So that you don't get to keep rolling. And so that you don't have to like run like a bunch of one drops. So you have an aggressive deck with a bunch of card draw. I want to see Burning Rage in a more mid-range control style deck. Like the way Horizons is used. So... Maybe bring it back to the old version, but change up the mechanics slightly. So maybe you, it costs like a mana to draw a card, or you don't draw the cards until the end of turn. Like, you know, so if you play two rage spells, you draw like two cards at the end of turn. And then maybe you could remove the, um, the damage that you take. Now, of course, what's to stop people from just going exactly the same way, playing a bunch of aggro, and then using burning rage to ramp up the phoenix, and then like, you know, fireball and all that. Now, with the change to Dragonfire, it's not as devastating as before because Dragonfire can't go face anymore. The only spell that can go face is Fireball, so maybe bring back the old Burning Rage, but a little bit weaker. Like, make the card draw not as good as it was, and possibly make it legendary so you can't, like, you know, play several. Because you could play a second Burning Rage and draw a card off of it and ramp even more. And I think that was a little ridiculous when every rage spell was drawing you two cards and you just never run out of resources. So, yeah, let's not let's not do that. I'd say make it legendary, bring it back to the old uh, situation, but maybe let the card draw come at the end of turn and just remove the burn. Or or maybe make it some other drawback that makes it bad to play, like, aggressively. Maybe let's say at the end of your turn, all your creatures take one damage or something. So, like, your goblins will just die, right? Or something like that. I don't know. You get the idea. I'm sure uh, you guys can come up with better ideas than what I just did. But bringing back Burning Rage to where it supports that control -y Rage would be really good. Without the aggressive st side of it, though. Goblin Anarchist. I think this card is just badly designed. Yeah, 3-2 is nice stats. But the effect is really horrible. Because you have to distribute this damage. And like if your opponent attacks into it... You might be forced to kill your own creatures, and because a lot of the early game that Rage has is, like, low health. Yeah, this just works against you, and it triggers when your opponent attacks into it as well. So this card is just a huge liability, and honestly, you're better off just running, like, Tortured Orc and Fireworker Goblin. Like, seriously. I, I can appreciate the idea, but the design is just, it's just bad. <laughs> it's just supposed to work with the deal damage to your own stuff. But it it can't work like this. I'm not sure how it should work, though. I mean, I, I, I've never even seen this card in play. But, yeah, that's why. Because this is actually just has anti-synergy with aggro. <laughs> My goodness. Wall of Flames. 
So same thing as Vegetation Blockade, it's a redraw that has a very weak effect. Same comment as Vegetation Blockade, make it either one mana or make it stick around for a couple turns. In that case, it'll like punish like Aristocrats and like Goblins and it'll basically make all the small creatures die faster in combat. That might be interesting, I think. And actually, it would serve as an interesting synergy for the um, Rocky Berserker. Like, he comes into play, attacks something, he immediately gets damage, and he gets uh, the buff. So, yeah, do one of those two things, and I think Wall of Flames might see play. Gigantodon. I know this is one of those cards that's just, like, filler, vanilla, but just like Zombie Giant, it's just bad. It's I'd say this is better than Zombie Giant, because 5 health is not that much better than 4, but 5 attack means it trades better. And it's more threatening. But, yeah, I mean, it's a four mana creature with one speed. It's not terrible, but it's not good either. I'm not really sure if this should be buffed. And how would you even buff it? Give it six attack? I don't know if you want to do that. Give it unstoppable? Would that even help? Maybe it would help a little bit. I don't know. I'm not sure if cards like these even need to be touched. Maybe it's okay to have a few of these, like, vanilla cards. But, in general, vanilla cards are supposed to have better stats than non-vanilla cards. This one does not. Black Market, uh, the big problem, of course, is that your opponent chooses what you draw, which is bad. And then the rest of your stuff goes into a graveyard. So, if you're playing a control deck, it's really bad because you're losing cards. I guess you could try to play with Reanimate, but Reanimate already runs Wisdom. And Wisdom can run Ancient Wisdom, which is much better than this card. The card is just bad. It's a 3 mana draw usually around 2 cards, but your opponent chooses what you get. So your opponent sees what cards you get into your hand. Can you believe this used to cost 4 mana? Man, I feel like the developers didn't really think this one through. Orc Javelinier, this is the same thing as the Gigantodon. It's a little bit better because that mana cost is more balanced. And it has ranged, which is pretty cool. It suffers the same thing as all 1 speed creatures. They just get ignored. So, it you can't use it for anything. If there were someone to buff its speed, like one mana Mantle of the Winds, it would be a pretty terrifying creature because a 3-4 with range and 2 speed, that's pretty good. So, yeah, maybe we just need some more speed mechanics and this will be a good card. Ruination, I'm not even sure this needs to be buffed. It's strict counter card. I would like this to have the option to like hit no artifacts and just draw a card. So that if you are floating this... You can, like, you can just play it without targets and just redraw. So, you know, it, you know, draw a card for four mana is obviously pretty bad, but it's something, right? Like, you could toss in, like, one or two of these if artifacts become a problem. But you know what? It's fine. As a counter to artifacts, it's okay. It's not seeing play because countering artifacts is not really, like, necessary right now. But if the um, artifact creatures became a big deal... Well, actually, they'll never become a big deal because Ruination would just absolutely crap on them and just kill any two creatures and draw a card. Like, It's cards like these that mean that the artifact creatures are going to have to be kind of slightly OP to compensate for this, or they'll have to have some protection from it. But, yeah. Anyways. That's it for Rage. Not that much. I mean, we mostly just need, like, Burning Rage to be up, up where it needs to be so we can play that control deck. It's going to be a bit of a shame, though, because just like New Horizons, these Rage decks will just entirely rely on drawing Burning Rage to get the ramp going. And it means Nature decks will start running Unicorn and just punishing this. Which is a shame. Which It'll defeat the whole purpose. Just kind of like how Demons rely on Dark Portal, and if you destroy Dark Portal right away, you really cripple them. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about these, like, Keystone cards. I mean, New Horizons is different because it's, like, not a persistent effect. It just happens. Whereas with Burning Rage, it has to stay on the board. Yeah. Maybe Burning Rage could be just a spell. And, you know, it the effect is uh, gain a Rage level. And at the end of your turn, draw a card for every other Rage spell you played. So, you know, when you play it on turn 2, it's just Horizons. But only for Rage that doesn't actually get a Shrine out of your deck. But if you play it later, it could be like a slight draw engine. Maybe? Maybe that's too OP? I honestly don't know. But, yeah, that's basically where we're at. And most of these other cards just need uh, 
they just don't work the way uh, the game is played. Wall of Flames buff could really encourage some anti-aggressive uh, tricks, which is what we really need right now. It could be like a, its own form of AoE. Didn't mention Cannonade because I think the distribution mechanic just needs to be fixed as a whole, and that'll fix all of the AoE distribute cards. Anyways, let me know what you think. What other cards would you like to play with? What other cards would you like to be playable or not playable? And put it in the comments, and I'll see you next time.